Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Hey there. How are you guys doing? Are we okay? Just give everyone a moment or two to sign in. Nice to see you. Hmm. I took a um, a really cool workshop uh, this weekend around uh, shoulders and the anatomy and alignment of our shoulders. Uh, and one of the big biggest takeaways that I had actually was that we don't do a lot of external rotation with the arm and with the shoulder which i thought was really interesting um, in our regular life let's say like we're typing or we're writing we're always kind of inwards with the arms and the upper body so we're going to be working a little bit of external today so it should be cool okay So I did also just want to say uh, that today I'm guiding this yoga class. My name is Stephanie. Nice to meet you. Uh, but I'm guiding this class with a really uh, with a really heavy heart and a lot of emotion. With uh, all the protests that have been going around in the states, the Black Lives Matter movement. It's, uh, it's hard for me to express it into words, so I won't go on into detail about it, but it's, uh, it's really upsetting. So I hope the next hour of your time with me is nice. You can experience the rest of your days, weeks ahead, a little bit lighter, easier to breathe, and we'll have a good time here together, okay? So let's lay down on the mat. Feet towards your front. Oh, I'm going to turn the comments off before I start, actually. So feet towards the front of your mat and head towards the back. Just um, lay down flat on your backs. I'm going to turn the comments off now so we're able to see better. And then I'll turn them on at the end so we can chat if you'd like. Just one sec. Uh, I don't know how to, oh, it's right here. I'm so sorry. Okay, cool. All right. So once you're on your back, lay down with your legs nice and long in front of you, but then uh, open up your arms like a big cactus shape. So elbows in line with your shoulders, palms facing up and close your eyes. Let your breath just start to wash over you. Shifting your mind more to your mat. And you picture the weight of the backs of your hands getting heavier to the floor around you. Maybe a little tiny tuck of your shoulder blades just a bit closer underneath you and a little tuck of your chin to lengthen the back of your neck. One more breath. All right, bend your right knee in towards your chest. Interlace your fingers over your right shin. Left leg nice and long, breathe in. Thigh closer, elbows bent as you breathe out. And again, inhale. Massage your leg to your belly, exhale. Take another breath in. Draw your leg down, breath out. Change the grip to your hamstring, right foot up to sky, inhale. Open up the back of your leg, flex your toes to your face. Two more. Last 
last one. Keep your right leg long. Take your right hand outside of your right leg. Bend your right elbow all the way towards the side of your mat so that the back of your right arm is on the floor. Your hand is in a little shelf for your right leg to rest in. So your hand might be outside your thigh. It might be around your knee or even around your shin, just depending on the flexibility, openness of your leg today. Keep the right ankle in flexion. Take an inhale. And if more sensation is what you need, as you exhale, dragging just a little bit your right leg towards the right shoulder, kind of like up and back behind you. With the strength of your inner thigh, pull the right leg back up center. A little stir up with your left hand. Right arm can be out by your side, and then just let the right leg, the leg that you've got, to drop inwards just a couple of inches. So you're using a lot of leg strength here, not so much of a resting of your leg inside your hand as the first side, using the strength. Press your heel away from you as you inhale. Curl the right toes to your face as you exhale. Stretch and activation in the same time, breath. And with the muscle strength that you become more in tune with, lift the right leg back center. Have happy baby, bend the knee, wrapping your hand outside of your foot. Bend your left leg and let your left knee fall out to the side. Place your right foot to your left knee, threading the needle, interlace the fingers around your left hamstring, take an inhale, right toes in flexion, exhale, drag the leg closer, breathe. Last one, fill up. Maybe bend the elbows a bit more. And cross the right leg all the way up and over your left. So it's kind of like an eagle shape. All right, and then press the knees further away from you so that they're stacked right on top of your hips. Wrap the right arm underneath your left arm, eagle shape, breathe in. Head and shoulders lift up, crunch, breathe up. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lift up. To your mat, breath in. Lift, breath up. Two more, inhale. Lift as you exhale. Keep your knees stacked to your hips, just the upper body down. Lift up, exhale. Come all the way to your mat, breath in. Left knee to chest, right leg long, wind relieving, other side. Slacken your grip, breath in. Grab for your left hamstring, foot to sky, breath out. Flex your foot, inhale. Maybe thigh draws closer as you exhale. Breathe to the back of your leg. Last one here. And bend out your left arm, elbow to the mat, create your shelf, left leg all the way opens up and then just kind of rest into your left hand. Keep your muscles slightly turned on so it's not super passive and you're dumping your leg all the way to the side. I'd rather you flex the foot, drive your heel away from you, toes in, using your hand as a stirrup for support rather than bearing all of the weight of your leg. 
So with your whole leg active, because your ankle's in flexion, your quad is engaged, maybe with the help of your stirrup, you're pulling the leg up and over behind you-ish. Last breath in here, using your leg strength, like all the way back center, right hand gathers the leg for support. So ankle still in flexion, breath in, over to the right side, just an inch or two as you breathe out. I know we usually use straps a lot of the times for this type of movement, but using the muscles around your legs creates a bit more stability rather than just passively, you know, whipping your leg side to side. Also a lot harder. <laughs> Come back, center all the way up, inhale. Half happy baby, bend your left knee, grab for your foot as you exhale. Elbow inside knee, hand outside foot. Bend your right long leg, and then pour the right thigh open to the side. Stay here, breath in. Place your left foot over your right thigh as you breathe out, threading the needle shape. Grab a hold of your right hamstring. Using some arm strength to bring the thigh closer, but can you tune in a little bit more to your internal muscles and maybe you're just pressing your right quad into your ankle and envisioning your left thigh opening to the side. Using your hands as support rather than just doing everything, you know? Last breath. So let go of your interlace, cross your left leg all the way up and over for eagle. Thighs are going to stack above your hips and wrap your left arm up and under. Take a breath in, crunch and lift your upper body, exhale. Back to ground, lift up, inhale, squeeze your abs. Last two, lift. One more, lift up, come down, inhale, unravel everything, knees to chest, exhale. Grab for your hamstrings, rock up and down, forward and back. Cross your shins, plant your hands, we're gonna meet in a downward facing dog. Little rituals that you have of pedaling out your feet and your legs. Get some freedom, some movement. You can shake your hips side to side. Working a little bit more stability and that extra rotation through your shoulders. Just tune into the paddings of your hands. Press down through all of your knuckles of your palms and almost create little suction cups right underneath the actual palms of your hands if you're holding lids of jars. And with your suction cups and your hands rooted without actually moving them at all, can you picture your palms opening up your jars, your lids, in an external and open way? Like the crease of your elbow can face forward. That's it. I feel a little bit different, uncomfortable, and difficult, and that's okay. New things always do. Come high to your tiptoes, look forward, bend your knees, step, walk, or hop towards your hands. Halfway lift, breath in, forward fold, breath out. Come all the way to stand, inhale, bring your arms overhead. Hands to chest center, thumbs to sternum. Take a breath in, let it go, breath out. Have a sweet time. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Halfway lift, breath in. Plant your hands, step back to plank pose as you breathe out. Tune into the jars of your hands, suction cups, open lids, inhale. To your belly, come down, exhale. Tense your fingertops outside your mat, but still in line with your shoulders. Press down through the tops of your feet. Cobra rolls. Inhale, just lift your chest one bone at a time and your head will be last. Roll all the way back down to your chest to the ground. Exhale. Press through your fingertips, breathe in, come up. Roll back down, exhale. One more time, breathe in. Come all the way down, breathe out. Slide your palms next to your sternum. Take an inhale, press up tabletop. Downward facing dog, exhale. <clears throat> breathe in, look forward. Bend your knees, breathe up. On an empty belly, nice and light. Step, walk, or hop forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise to stand, breath in. Hands to chest, breathe out. Inhale, reach your arms up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Plank pose, breath out. Stay here, inhale. To your belly, come down, exhale. Tense your fingertops outside the mat. Shoulders stack onto your upper back. Breathe in, lift your heart up. All the way to your belly, exhale. Tabletop, press up, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Come up to tiptoes. Bend your knees. Step walk or hop to hands. Halfway lift, breath in. Fold, breath out. Rise up, inhale, palms to chest, exhale. Breathe in, reach your arms up. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale, high plank on your exhale. Shoulders are gonna stack over your thumbs. If you feel ready, breath in, chaturanga, bend your elbows back, lower halfway as you breathe out. Press the tops of your feet to the ground. Lengthen your arms, drag your hands back. Inhale, up dog. Use your belly strength and your glutes. Downward facing dog, press all the way back. Lift your hips. Take another breath in your down dog, reset. Heels high, inhale. Bend your knees, step, walk, or hop forward. Halfway lift, breath in, and fold, breath out. Ukatasana, inhale, reach your arms up. Bend your elbows, cactus shape your arms so that the upper arm bones are in line with your shoulders. Without an overarch in your back, a natural slope is, is normal and okay, but support your back with your midsection. Take an inhale. Weight bear to your heels. Take a breath in here. And forward fold, lengthen your legs, breath up. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, stepping back one at a time, breathing out as you lower. Baby cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Breath in, lift your right leg up. Knee to outside your right elbow as you breathe out. Transfer a lot of weight forward. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step your foot through to your right thumb inside your hand. And bring your back, no, excuse me. <laughs> Keep your back knee lifted, sorry. Lift your right arm up, twisting lunge. All right, take a big breath in here. Back knee to the ground, flatten your back foot. 
Reach your left arm forward, so we're in a twisted little lunge, inhale. Keep drawing your inner legs to your center as you exhale. Reach your arms overhead, turn your chest forward. Bend your elbows, cactus shape, breathe out. Arms up, inhale. Hands to mat, exhale. Lift your back knee, breath in. Standing splits, come all the way forward and lift your left leg up. Hands can walk a foot in front of your front toes just to elongate your spine for an inhale. Left knee to your nose, round your back, exhale. Re-extend, breath in. Feet together, breath out. Rise all the way up, bring your right knee with you, right knee with you, inhale. Palms to chest center, tree pose, right foot to left thigh or calf as you exhale. Squeeze your right glute breath in. Cactus your arms, open elbows, breath out. Soften your gaze. Reach your arms up, right knee lifts forward, inhale. Toppling tree, kick all the way back and float your arms by your sides as you exhale. Take a breath in. To a crescent lunge, bend your front knee. Step back with your back toes. Arms overhead, inhale. Cactus shape your elbows, exhale. Hold it here, belly in. Back of your hands heavier as your elbows peel forward as you breathe out. Chest stacked over hips, reach your arms up, inhale. Hands to the ground, left leg all the way back, down dog, exhale. One breath in. Open face to your hips, knee to your, uh, heel to your seat as you breathe out, knees bent. Legs straight back, inhale. Foot to ground, feet together, exhale. Crawl, roll forward, breath in, plank pose. Chaturanga, breath out. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Belly in, glutes engaged. Down dog, exhale. Lift your left leg up, breathe in. Knee to outside your left elbow as you breathe out. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Knee towards your nose to step forward to your left hand. Reach your left arm up, twisting lunge. Take one inhale. Back knee to the mat, flatten your foot as you exhale. Reach your right arm forward, left arm back, breath in. Find your twist through your center as you breathe out. Arms back forward, chest forward, inhale. Cactus your elbows, palms will face the front as you exhale. Arms up, breath in. Hands to the mat, breath out. Lift your back knee, inhale. Standing splits, lift the leg up as you exhale. Chest crawling, if you can, like you can reach beyond your mat, breath in. Right floating knee to your nose, round your back, breath out. Kick your leg out, inhale. Step down, feet together, exhale. Rise all the way up, bring your left knee with you, breath in. Hands to heart, tree pose, outer rotate your left leg, foot to the inseam of your right thigh or calf. Squeeze the left glute to engage the leg, the muscles around your hip. Take an inhale. Cactus your elbows, open your chest, exhale. One breath. All right, arms up, knee forward, breath in. Toppling tree, hinge at your center, kick back, sweep your arms. Big step Whoop, to a high crescent lunge, arms overhead, inhale. Cactus your elbows, bend them as you exhale. Working a little bit of a back bend, pull the navel in and up, squeeze your glutes. Elbows forward, backs of your hands get heavier. Good, lengthen the back of your neck so your head's not falling back, your eyes just over your nose. 
All right, inhale, arms up. Hands to ground, three-legged dog. Lift your right leg all the way up and back. Open face your hips, bend the knee, stack your pelvis. Take a breath. Shoot your legs straight back, inhale. Feet together, exhale. Roll forward to plank, breath in. Chaturanga, breath out. Cobra or up dog on an inhale. Belly in, down dog, exhale. Couple breaths. Pedal out your legs. Shake out your head. Reset the stabilization through your hands to support your upper body. Palms down, suction cup. If you're holding on lids of jars, you can't really open them because they're super airtight, but you're creating an external rotation through your upper body a little bit more. Lift your heels up, look forward. Bend your knees, step, walk, or hop. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Ukatasana, bend your knees, reach your arms up, inhale. Cactus your elbows as you exhale. So not too much of a back bend, more of a neutral spine here. Contain your pubic bone and ribs, like sandwiching them together a little bit more internally, keeping the natural curve of your low back. All right, spreading your toes nice and even. Take an inhale, press through your feet, lengthen your legs and bring your elbows into your waist as you exhale. So your palms are gonna be facing out. One breath in, hands to your low back on either side of your sacrum as you exhale. Elbows point behind you, belly still engaged. Lift your sternum to ceiling. Slowly peel up and back behind you. Breathe through the front of your chest. Can you picture your breath traveling down to your pit of your belly? Soften your gaze. Lengthen the skin in the back of your skull. Inhale. Come all the way back center. Bend your knees generously. Round your back and come all the way on top of your thighs, forward fold. Grab for opposite elbows behind your knees. Inhale, drop your head, exhale. Undo your grip, halfway lift, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. If you'd love a vinyasa here to rinse it out, go ahead, three breaths. Once you're through your vinyasa, inhale, lift your right leg up. Knee outside your right elbow, exhale. Come high on your back tiptoes. Lift your right leg back up, three-legged dog. Step through to your right thumb. All right, lift your right arm up, twisting lunge. Squeeze your outer right hip back behind you. Take a breath in, belly in. Lift your left hand forward and all the way up. So now we're in like a high lunge with a twist. Reach your arms forward, breathe in. Lift your heart to thumbs. Cactus your elbows, breathe up. Arms overhead, inhale. Warrior two, pivot on your back toes, but face your palms to the side of your mat. So instead of palms down, it's palms forward or sideways, palms sideways. All right, keep your palms facing this direction. Inhale, start to reach your right arm back. Lengthen your right leg, exhale. Breath in, shift forward. Breath out, just pivot the arms, right hand down, left arm up. One breath in. Bend your front knee, breath out. 
Ardha Chandrasana half moon. Mm -hmm. Tiptoe your back foot a little bit closer so you use your leg strength. Drive through your front foot to start to extend the leg. Squeeze your left glute and it'll make it a little bit easier to lift up. All right, once you're in your floating half moon shape, bend your left elbow, cactus, inhale. Reach up, exhale. Breathe in. Standing splits, turn to the ground, breathe up. One inhale here. Uh, feet together, exhale. <laughs> Take a, a breath in, reach all the way up, rise up, bring your right knee with you. Eagle pose, wrap your right leg up and over, right arm wraps underneath left arm. Stack your spine, inhale, pull your navel to your back, then round your upper body, bring your elbows to kiss your thighs. Come all the way back up, restack, just float your right leg. Big step behind you towards a high lunge. Bend your front knee, right toes to ground. Breath in, unravel the arms just to an open cactus as you breathe out. All right, hold it here. Tiniest of lengths to your tailbone to the ground. Your glutes are turned on, your belly's fired up. Elbows shift forward, backs of your hands fall behind you. Eyes can look the same direction as your nose, as your nose discovers a little line threading forward and maybe up. Breathe in deep. All right, restack, come neutral, inhale. Hands to the ground, exhale. Lift your left leg up, three-legged dog. Open face your hips, breath out. Leg straight back, inhale. Feet together, down dog as you exhale. Come forward to plank, breath in, hold your plank. Left hand moves a little closer to the center as you breathe out. Side plank, lift your right arm up. So you can pivot on your feet to stagger them front and back. You can stack your feet, or you can try lifting your right leg, bend the knee, Tree pose in your legs, foot towards thigh or your calf. With control, take a breath in, keep your tree legs, come to plank pose as you breathe out. One inhale, shoot your leg back, plank, exhale, breath in, down dog, lift your hips. And if you need to rinse that out with a flow, by all means, rinse it up. Hmm. Lift your left leg up when you're ready. Knee to your outer left elbow. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And step your foot through to left thumb. All right, your left arm up, twisting lunge, breathe. Using the power of your legs and your abdominals, start to float your right arm forward Rise up, high lunge with a twist. Circle your back arm forward, inhale, crescent lunge. Cactus your elbows, exhale. Reach up, breathe in. Warrior two with your palms facing the side as you breathe out. Take an inhale, just reach back with your front arm, straighten your front leg as you exhale. Keep your palms facing the sides. Inhale, shift forward. Uttita Trikanasana, right arm up. Keep your arms extended if you can. Inhale, bend your front knee, exhale. Then tiptoe your back foot a little bit closer, like heel toe your foot. And then press all of the weight into your front leg. Start to squeeze your right glute as you lift the leg behind you. So strong. Good. Okay. 
Bend your right elbow, cactus your arm, inhale. Whoop. Reach up as you exhale. One breath in. Standing splits, turn to the mat. Okay, big inhale here. Right, feet together, exhale. Rise all the way up, breath in, bring your left knee with you. Eagle pose, left arm under, left leg over. Stack your spine, belly engaged. Take a breath in, pull your navel to your back, round your spine and curl as you breathe out. Come all the way up, inhale. Float your left leg. Take a breath in. Big step behind you to crescent legs as you breathe out. So you're gonna lunge in your low body and eagle in your upper body. Inhale, open up the arms, cactus shape. Exhale. Mm. Working the back bend, squeeze your inner thighs. Glutes are turned on because your legs are fired up but belly in so you're not sinking into your low back, okay? Pull your navel to your spine. Elbows peel forward, backs of your hands heavier. Lead with your sternum. That's it, your sternum's gonna find the weight first. Back of your neck long so it's not falling behind you. Then your eyes just kinda look where your nose is. So strong, so stable, so open. All right. Come all the way center, breath in, reach up. Hands to the mat, breath out. Three-legged dog, lift your right leg high. Open, face your hips. Legs straight back, feet together. Roll forward, high plank, breath in. Eyes to the ground. Right hand more center, side plank, exhale. Left arm lifts, breath in. Option to bend your left knee, foot towards your leg, your calf. Just avoid pressing your inner knee in any way. Hmm. Take an inhale. With your control, hands to the ground, so we're like in a tree plank as you exhale. Okay. Legs straight back, full plank, breathe in. Down dog, breathe up. From your down dog, inhale forward, plank pose. To your belly, come all the way down. Exhale. <sighs> Untuck your toes. Tense your fingertops outside your mat. A little cobra roll. Breathe in, roll your heart up, maybe eyes forward. Come all the way down, breathe out. Bring your elbows forearms to the ground, elbows under your shoulders, sphinx, lift your heart up. Your legs can be further apart if your low back's a bit sensitive. Can you picture, because the weight is more bared onto our elbows and forearms here, can you picture the jars kind of underneath your elbows, like you're opening the jars outwards? So you're not dumping the weight all the way into your arms and your shoulders are creeping towards your ears. Resist the ground and then lengthen up and away. If you want more, another breath or two in Sphinx. If you'd love to do seal, hands can kind of come down to the ground as you lift your elbows. And again, just notice if you're resting into your joints, and your shoulders are coming to your head, press through your hands, activate your push muscles to support you. And if you want more, you can walk your hands closer to your hips. Okay, I know it's a long hold. Take a breath in. Through Sphinx first, elbows down. All right, and then bring your left ear to the mat. Walk off the elbows and find cactus in your upper body. Left ear down. Half frog, bend your right knee so it's in line with your right hip. Mm. 
You can close the curtains of your eyes. Keep your left arm as it is, right fingertips to the ground like your little tent shape in your cobra. Press through your right fingers, squeeze your right glute, lift the right knee up and step the toes outside your mat towards your left. A little shoulder opener here. One breath in. Come all the way back to your belly and extend your right leg behind you. Switch ears, right elbow out, right ear down. Half frog, bend your left knee. Bring your left fingertips to the floor. Use a bit of pressure of your left fingertips and the squeezing of the muscles of your legs, your abdomen. Roll over to your right side. Step your toes out behind you. I'm personally keeping my hands to the ground still for support. If you're not holding this for too long, I almost want to remind my brain where we are and to stay stable with my muscles rather than again, just kind of dumping my weight into space. Slowly come all the way back to your belly. Re-extend your left leg. Fingertips by your side. So a little cobra roll to reset. Inhale. All the way down. Exhale. To an extended child's pose. Press up tabletop. Keep your elbows lifted. Just sit your hips back to your feet. Elbows stay lifted. Head low. Pull yourself up, tabletop, inhale, down dog, exhale. Lift your heels high, look forward, bend your knees, step, walk, or hop to your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold forward, breathe out. Rise all the way to stand. Bring your right knee with you. Right knee with you. Inhale, arms up. Right hand to right shin. Turn it out towards the right. Left arm falls in line with your left shoulder. Utita Hasta Padavustasana. So your right leg is externally rotated as your right shoulder also externally open. Breathe through your full front body. Inhale, bring everything back inside. Arms lift, breath in. Foot to the ground, feet together and fold forward as you exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Left leg lunges back, back knee down, exhale. Hands walk inside your front foot. Circle your right arm forward, all the way up and back. So your palm is facing the side, thumb to ceiling. Using the strength of your muscles, squeeze your left glute, and then kick your heel to your seat like a little hamstring curl. Don't grab your foot just yet. Take a breath in. Then on the last second, grab for your foot as you breathe out. Again, a support not just passively pulling the leg towards you for flexibility. The hand that's on the ground, just take note if you're sinking into the joint, resist your mat. Hmm. Take an inhale. Let go of your foot nice and slow. Hand circles back forward and down. Three-legged dog. Lift your right leg all the way up. Feet together, exhale. Roll forward, plank pose, breath in. Left hand center, right arm up, side plank, breath out. You have the choice to bend the top leg, foot to the inseam for like a tree leg shake, or you can step the toes behind you, 
Lift your hips while thing reach beyond the front of your mat. With all of that stable control, take a breath in. Circle your right hand to the mat, three-legged dog, lift your right leg up. Pigeon pose, bring your knee to your outer right wrist. Shin will be on a slant or perpendicular. Lift your heart up, crawl forward and down. Circulate your breath. Even in your pigeon pose, can you hug your left inner leg towards your right inner leg just a bit more through your center? Create a flexion in your front foot. Start to crawl back up to your forearms and then your hands. Downward facing dog, right leg back. Roll forward, plank pose, breathe in. Chaturanga, breathe out. Cobra or your up dog. Downward facing dog. Lift your heels high, inhale. Bend your knees, step, walk, or hop forward. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Rise all the way up, left knee comes with you. Take an inhale. Left hand to your shin, right arm pours out to the side. And then open up your left knee. Eyes can be to your right thumb, which is facing the ceiling. Squeeze your left glute, so the floating leg side a little bit more. With your muscles of your inner leg, turn back forward, reach your arms up, breath in. Foot to your mat, forward fold all the way. Take a halfway lift. Right leg shoots back, back knee down. Hands walk inside of your front, uh, your front shin. So you're in a low lunge, left arm forward all the way up, palm facing the side, squeeze your back glute, hamstring curl your heel to your seat. So you might not be able to actually reach the foot if the leg's a little bit far away, you can stay in this active twisted shape. You're still getting the benefits of opening up your hip and your quad, the rolling open of your upper chest, and the pressing down of your right hand, whether or not you're able to grab for your foot once you're there. Softly set the foot back down to the floor, recircle your arm back forward, breathe in, lift your back knee, three-legged dog, lift your left leg up. Open face your hip so your heel will come to your seat, squeeze in your belly. Legs straight back, inhale, feet together, exhale. Roll forward to your high plank, breath in. Right hand center, left arm upside, plank, breath out. Tree pose in your legs, lift the top leg, bend the knee, foot to your inner thigh, calf. Option to step the toes behind you, lift your pelvis a little bit more, and then reach your left arm overhead. Deep breath. Re-engage your belly, especially if you've lost that connection just for the sake of kind of stretching out apart. Pull your navel in and up. Squeeze your left knee to your chest. Place your left hand back to floor, eyes down, three-legged dog, left leg up. Pigeon pose, knee to your left wrist. Start to sit-ish in your pigeon shape. Flex your front foot, 
Draw your inner thigh center. Inhale. Come all the way down. Exhale. One more breath. Start to walk back up to your elbows and your hands. Downward facing dog, left leg shoots back. Look forward, bend your knees, step walk or hop to your hands and sit all the way down to the ground Feet slightly in front of you, but bend your knees. We're gonna start to curl down to the back. Take an inhale, round your spine, and really slowly with your belly strength, your stabilizer, come all the way down to your back, nice and slow. Keep your knees bent, feet to ground. Cactus your elbows, open chest. Okay, last little bit of effort, bending the elbows out wide, similar to cactus, but bring your elbows a little bit closer to your waist so that your arms are bent like in a 45 degree angle. Feet hip width apart, breath in. Lift your hips like bridge as you breathe out. So instead of what we normally do of wrapping and interlacing the fingers underneath us, we're going to stay in this externally rotated upper body to have more opening in the chest. Backs of the arms are pressing down and just using the strength of the glutes and hamstrings to find your lift. They're really big muscles, so they've got you, they're supporting you. No need to Press your hands and your elbows down like you normally do. Last breath in. Hips all the way back down, breath out. We'll do one more set. You're welcome to work with the same variation of bridge. If you'd love to come into wheel, hands right next to your head so your thumbs are gonna face inwards but your upper chest is still externally rotated. So drive through your feet, lift your hips, press through your palms, lengthen your arms, and come all the way up. Can you picture those suction cups underneath your palms, your jars, like the inner elbows can face inwards to each other and then towards your legs. They're not actually probably gonna move, but just again, the direction of your jars. Hug your glutes enough that you feel them holding you up. One inhale, tin to chest, come to the back of your head and your shoulders, all the way down, bone by bone, keep your feet on the ground, cactus your arms. Gently let your knees fall slowly to your left. Look right. Lift them back center, eye center, inhale. Knees to the right, look left, exhale. And again, one time on both sides, breath in. Knees left, look right. center, look left, to center, inhale, draw your knees towards you, exhale, <clears throat> and cross your right thigh up and over your left thigh, Gomukhasana legs, 
or eagle, kind of like we saw before. And then grab for opposite shins, flex your feet. And maybe you invite the lower legs to pull outside your waist. If you feel like your head is falling back behind you because you grabbed your legs, you're welcome to grab your hamstrings instead or rediscover threading the needle with your right leg on top. Slowly slacken your grip and then just switch sides. Cross your left leg up and over, Ngomukasana, or threading the needle. Flex your feet. One more breath. Let go of your grip completely, unravel the low limbs, and then just hands on top of the shins, push your thighs to your belly. Scoop up the backs of your legs and just start to rock up and down, forward and back. Come all the way up to a seat for Paschimottanasana, so we're going to stick with this internal sensation because we worked so much of it out outwards flex your feet legs closer together towards the uh, midline of your mat and scoop up your um, flush around your buttocks reach your arms up palms face each other breathe in forward fold as much as you can as you breathe out hinging at your hips can you let your sternum lead the way, just like in your back bend, finding more extension and length rather than bowing down towards your knees? Can you think of the extending past your feet instead? Stay towards a forward fold just for a breath in and start to let it go, slacken your grip and your hold and just passively roll down towards your knees as you exhale. If it feels more comfortable, you can bend the legs a little bit more and support your belly onto your thighs. Maybe you grab for opposite elbows underneath your knees. You're welcome to close your practice like so or unraveling everything and coming down into a Shavasana. I'm just going to turn the comments back on if you wanted to say goodbye. I just want to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to practice with me. <sighs> I feel much better after that, so I hope you guys do too. Thank you for supporting Moto as we continue to support you. I do just want to say, because I'm going to time out in a few seconds, that Moto continues to be and will always be a place for all. So it's, it's difficult to speak for a company, but I speak for myself when I say that I see you. I hear you, I'm here for you, and I love you, all of you, okay? Have a great rest of your evening. Namaste.